I'm here to deliver the state of the nation address. In this year's State of the Nation address, President Yoram Museveni started by confirming that a strong foundation has been built for a strong socio-economic transformation with the economy expected to grow between 5.5 to 7% annually for the next five years. This growth will arise from one, economic stability as a result of low inflation, two, establishment of more manufacturing plants, uh, factories. Ugandans, when you hear plants, don't think they are talking about crops. Plants in, in this English of theirs mean factories. I don't know why they call them plants. Amakorero. Continued implementation of the Paris Development Model for support small and medium-scale enterprises through emioga circles. The president also revealed that prices of goods and services have gone down except the prices of foodstuffs that resulted from the strong drought that hit most parts of the country. However, food prices remain high due to climate change effects that caused prolonged drought in many parts of the country. This, however, will be history because of the ongoing government investment in small-scale solar-powered irrigation. The president also explained why the government resisted subsidizing consumption amidst the escalating prices, saying they were likely to cause shortage of goods. On the increasing gun violence in the country, the president says it's being handled with immediate response through addressing the issue of discipline and improving the welfare of security forces. Recent isolated incidents of misuse of firearms and the killing of innocent people is being handled with immediate response. This include, among others, strengthening the capacity of security agencies to address emerging security threats, addressing discipline issues of security personnel in the Uganda People's Defense Force and the Uganda Police and Uganda Prisons, enhancing the security, of, security infrastructure to detect crime before it happens and addressing the welfare of personnel in security uniforms. In spite of the weaknesses amongst some security officers, the president says the forces should be commended for maintaining security in the country. The ability to manage a huge pre-announced event like, like the recent Matters Day without any insecurity incident while the terrorists are still running around in neighboring countries such as Congo, Somalia, ATC, demands salutations to our security personnel, weaknesses here and there notwithstanding. He also revealed that he is in touch with the cut rustlers in Karamoja in addition to warning the Tukanas against crossing to Uganda from Kenya with guns. The Turkana of Kenya, th th those are also another problem. The Turkan of Kenya must stop entering Uganda with guns. And I do not want to hear even one incident of those people again raiding in Uganda if they want to stay here. On infrastructure, the president says the government will expedite the construction of the standard gauge railway line from Malaba to Kampala, prioritizing maintaining urban roads and national roads across the country. Alex Mugasha, Sam Ivanda Mugabi, NBS, Live at Mine.